Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Hoffman and I'm super excited to be here today. Today I'm going to be talking about the reboot of my YouTube channel. Now if you're watching this video you probably came from one of three major traffic sources. Either you read my book, which was published in early 2020, Web Application Security Exploitation and Countermeasures for Modern Web Applications, or you stumbled across one of my projects or open source contributions. There's been a lot of those in the last 10 years. Those of you who know me know I love side projects, know I love coding and building things. So, you know, a lot of my hobbies encompass just building new cool technology. Finally, you might just be a YouTube subscriber who's been subscribed to this channel for who knows how long. This channel was started somewhere around 2011, and today that's actually the topic of the video. So, just a little bit of background for those who don't know. So, I started uploading to YouTube in about 2011. This, this channel, my goal way back when, was to fill it with programming tutorials because I didn't really see a lot of coding tutorials on YouTube. And, you know, this was a different era. This was um, before there was a lot of great resources on the web to learn programming, especially if you're looking for a project-based approach where you're actually building cool things instead of just an approach where it's like, oh, memorize an API. You know, because you could, you could learn that on the Internet back then. You could, just couldn't find something where it was really, you know, let's build something together. So in the early days of YouTube, that's what I was using this channel for. Now, I took a two-year-long hiatus. In the, in the past two years, I haven't uploaded any videos. And there was a couple of reasons for doing that. Number one was uploading to YouTube takes a lot of dedication, especially on the interval I was trying to do, which was every week. And I found that when I was uploading every week, the issue I ran into was either I took away from a lot of time from my own hobbies by producing these videos or the quality of my videos suffered. Furthermore, when I look back, I realized that while a lot of the video tutorials on mostly programming related topics that I uploaded were really great for the time because there weren't a lot of other coding tutorials in video format. I think nowadays as I've you know looked through the web I have found that there's a lot more people producing that type of content so I don't really think that there's a huge benefit for me to spend my time producing that type of content today. So professionally uh, those of you who know me my most of my work these days is in the software security industry. In fact, that's where my career is. That's the book behind the shelf um, right there that I was talking about in the intro. Uh, I, I've put most of my mental energy into, into the world of software security. I still love coding, don't get me wrong. And I do think there's probably going to be some coding-related content on this channel. But I've realized that there's a lot of coding-related content elsewhere. There's not a lot of security content, especially on YouTube. If you're a software engineer trying to break into the security industry, if you want to go from software engineer to security engineer, if you're interested in bug bounty hunting, if you're interested in you know any other form of becoming an ethical hacker, like how do you go from point A to point B? And that's something that I struggled with too. And you know, learning some of the skills that I learn in order to end up in the career that I'm at today as a security architect and as a senior security engineer, depending on what I'm working on, you know, those skills were hard to come by. And it's a bummer because, you know, these are some of the most valuable skills that you can have in the tech industry moving forwards, especially as more and more data is moved to the web. You know, it used to be 15 years ago, you had a small subset of data on the internet. The rest of the data, you know, it, it had you, you didn't do medical records on the internet back in the day. You didn't do your financial information on the internet back in the day. But that's changed. Everything's moving towards the web. Hard copies are kind of a thing of the past except for backups. So moving forwards, the scheduling of this YouTube channel is going to change. I'm going to try to upload every single month because I think a monthly interval will allow me to choose topics that are really high quality and really valuable to me and hopefully to you. Um, it'll also prevent me from getting burnt out and saying like, oh, you know, this is too much time. It's taking away from my other hobbies. Um, but it's going to be an interval where it's like, oh, you can actually expect content still. So it's going to be good for me and good for the viewers. Next off, the topics I'm going to cover, there's still going to be some programming topics and some other topics of things that I'm just really interested in. But I'm going to emphasize the cybersecurity topics. I'm going to emphasize application security. I'm going to, you know, emphasize the things that I'm most passionate about that also tend to be the most neglected in a video format. 
So if you read my book, Web Application Security, Exploitation and Countermeasures, you probably know that I wrote that book specifically for people who could code that wanted to learn cybersecurity. And this YouTube channel, I'm going to be making tutorials on the same type of stuff. I think I might cover a few meta topics, you know, maybe I'll talk about hiring trends, maybe I'll talk about technical leadership. For the most part, I'm going to be moving the emphasis from coding tutorials to cybersecurity. And I think that's going to benefit a lot more people on YouTube. So if you're just watching this video trying to decide, hey, I'm subscribed, should I stay subscribed? Or I'm not subscribed, should I subscribe to this YouTube channel? Well, just ask yourself this question. Does the direction of the channel I just described sound like it would be appealing to you? Do you want to learn about cybersecurity? Do you want to learn about topics that aren't covered on other channels as far as you know programming goes and more advanced topics and maybe topics that can segue over into the cybersecurity world? In particular, application security, where where code meets security, you know. So that's that's my expertise, and that's what I'd like to share. And if that meshes really well with what you'd like to learn, subscribe to this channel. And I hope that the future is good to both of us. And I hope that the video content I release is beneficial to you, the viewer. And um, I I also hope that running this channel is beneficial to me because it'll. In, in my ideal world, it should give me an avenue to help and teach people anywhere in the world. And I think that's really exciting. So thanks for watching, and you'll see more uploads from me soon. Bye.